we will discuss resistance now in the ohms law at the constant temperature the current passing through the conductor is directly proportional to the voltage across the conductor now the current passing through the conductor i the voltage which are applied across the conductor is v what is the relation directly proportional now v is equals to some constant r into i where r is called a proportionality constant that proportionality constant is called resistance therefore r is equals to what do you say v by i what is the definition of r what is the definition of resistance resistance in the name itself resists opposes the electrical property of the conductor which opposes the flow of electrons is called resistance now every conductor has a particular properties length is there cross section area is there density is there conductivity is there resistivity is there right conductor has so many properties out of so many properties there is a property which opposes the flow of electrons every conductor has a resistance every conductor has a nature which opposes the flow of current that nature to oppose the flow of current is called resistance now what is the definition the electrical property of the conductor which opposes the flow of current is called resistance what is the reason for the resistance already we said conductor is there between the ions of the conductor there are metallic bonds when the metallic bonds are present the electrons are there those electrons are in the metallic bonds those electrons are treated as free electrons now initially the free electrons are in a random motion this random motion is by virtue of temperature this random motion by virtue of temperature which is known as thermal agitation because of thermal agitation these electrons go on colliding with the ions thereby there is a energy loss right because of the energy loss the current is said to be opposed therefore the energy loss by the thermal agitation the energy loss due to the thermal agitation which produces the resistance of the conductor now what is the resistance symbol symbol of resistance symbol of resistance the symbol of resistance is like this right now this is called resistance r if it is a variable resistance if it is a variable resistance variable resistance is represented by r now in some books the resistance is also represented by like this the resistance is also represented by like this now what is the unit of resistance what is the unit of resistance now what is r r is equals to what do say right v by i v by i now unit of volt unit of potential difference unit of potential difference is volt unit of current is called what to say ampere that is ampere that is volt is written as v ampere is written as a therefore volt per ampere is the unit of resistance this volt per ampere is known as ohm volt per ampere is known as ohm what is the symbol of ohm this is now let us consider there is a resistance this is the resistance right if 1 volt potential difference is applied 1 volt potential difference is applied 
if one ampere of current is passing through the conductor then the resistance is said to be 1 ohm now r is equals to v by i potential difference unit is volt current is ampere volt is represented by v ampere is represented by a volt per ampere is the unit of resistance this volt per ampere is known as ohm what is the definition of ohm if one ampere of current is passing through the conductor when one volt potential difference is applied then the resistance is said to be one ohm next what are the affecting factors of resistance what are the affecting factors of resistance 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 what are the affecting factors of resistance first one length right second one cross sectional area cross sectional area right third one temperature third one temperature next fourth one geometrical arrangement geometrical arrangement right fifth one right nature of the nature of material right the affecting factors of resistance even there are so many affecting factors there are major five affecting factors length right l cross sectional area a it is known as thickness temperature is represented by capital t geometrical arrangement nature of the material next one right depends upon the affecting factors of resistance there are resistance loss first law of resistance what is the first law of resistance first law of resistance first law of resistance right in the first law of resistance there is a resistance right there is a length there is a cross sectional area there is a temperature now let us consider this is a conductor this is another different conductor right what is the cross sectional area a what is the cross sectional area a what is the temperature the temperature is t what is the length l1 what is the length l2 what is the resistance r1 what is the resistance r2 here in this case right right here in the both the cases thickness is same that is constant in both the cases temperature is same constant now in this case resistance is directly proportional to length therefore at constant temperature and having the same thickness of two different conductors resistance is directly proportional to its length right length is increased by two times resistance also increased by two times length is decreased by three times resistance also decreased by three times thereby we can write it as r1 by r2 is equals to that is l1 by l2 this is the first law of resistance second one right second law of resistance second law of second law of resistance second law of resistance second law of resistance right same resistance length cross sectional area a and the temperature now there is a conductor this is the conductor now there is another conductor this is the another conductor see the two different conductors 
Here, what is the length L? Here is also length L. Here, what is the temperature? T. Here is also what is the temperature? T. Therefore, what is the cross-sectional area? A1. Here, smaller thickness. Here, somewhat bigger thickness, A2. Now, here in this case. Two different conductors of same length and when they are at the same temperature, now resistance, now resistance is inversely proportional to cross-sectional area. In this case, what are constant? Length remains constant. What is the temp constant? Temperature constant. The two different conductors having the same length, length constant. Having the same, both are at the same temperature, temperature is also con constant but different cross-sectional area. As the different cross-sectional area, resistance also different. Therefore, resistance is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area when length and the temperature both are constant. Thereby, R1 by R2 is equals to, what to say, A2 by A1. Now, here, what is the relation? Inversely proportional. That is, thickness is increased. Cross-sectional area is increased. Resistance is decreased. Cross-sectional area is decreased. Resistance is increased. Now, next one. What is the temperature difference? What is the temperature dependence? Temperature, temperature, temperature effect. Temperature effect. Now, already we know that as the temperature is changed, no doubt the resistance is also changed. In this case, right, we can take it as conductor, conductor. Next, what to say, semiconductor, right. In the case of conductors, as the temperature is increased, that is resistance also increased. In the case of semiconductor, temperature is increased, that is resistance is decreased. Now, as the length is changed, resistance is changed. As the right area is changed, resistance is changed. Temperature is changed, resistance is also changed. Therefore, the variation of resistance due to the change in temperature can be explained through temperature coefficient of resistance. Temperature, temperature coefficient of, temperature coefficient of, that is resistance. This temperature coefficient of resistance is represented by alpha. Resistance of a conductor depends upon the temperature. As the temperature changes, resistance also changes. Sometimes temperature is increased, resistance is increased. Sometimes temperature is increased, resistance is decreased. Therefore, such a variation of resistance due to the temperature can be explained through a new quantity. What is the name of the new quantity? That is temperature coefficient of resistance. Temperature coefficient of resistance. Resistance. That can be represented by alpha. Now, this temperature coefficient of resistance is positive in the case of conductors. Thus, temperature coefficient of resistance is negative in the case of semiconductors. Conductors, temperature coefficient of resistance is positive. In the semiconductors, temperature coefficient of resistance is negative. That means, Whenever it is said to be positive, as the temperature is increased, resistance is also increased. Why resistance is increased? In the case of conductors, metallic bonds are present. As the temperature is increased, their kinetic energy is increased. As their kinetic energy is increased, more number of collisions are takes place. As the more number of collisions are takes place, more amount of energy loss. Because of more amount of energy loss, the more resistance. But in the case of semiconductor, the structure is different. Right? In the semiconductors, valence band electrons are there, conduction band electrons are there. As the temperature is increased, all the valence band electrons are shifted into the conduction band electrons. 
therefore more number of electrons are available in the conduction band those electrons are acted as a free electrons therefore the current is said to be increased as the current is said to be increased the resistance is said to be decreased therefore as the temperature is increased resistance is increased in the as the temperature is increased resistance is increased in the case of conductor as the temperature is increased resistance is decreased in the case of semiconductors the temperature coefficient of resistance is positive in the case of conductor temperature coefficient of resistance is negative in the case of semiconductor now write geometrical arrangement right if a wire is it bent in the form of triangle if the wire is bent in the form of a circle if the wire is bent in the form of rectangle then across any two points then resistance is to be changed such effective resistance can be calculated by right series arrangement of resistances and parallel arrangement of resistances next one nature of the material sir right nature of the material right some are some materials are allowing more current some materials are allowing less current that can be explained through a new quantity that new quantity is called resistivity 